I'm just saying. I know a lot of people are considering shaving their heads. Or trying a side cut or deck hawk or a mohawk. Here's some things to consider before you just buzz it off. But I do want to say that anyone who's shaving their entire head, I just play with it a little bit. You don't have to, obviously, if you're just going to go for it because you're like, if I don't do it this way now, I'm not going to do it at all. Obviously, do you. But if you like playing, try something like this out real quick before you shave everything off. You might like this more. Not everyone is me. It's just a suggestion. If you didn't think about that and you're like, I'm going to shave my head, play first, play it. One of the things that you might get a lot is you might get stares, you might hear comments. Hey, look at my, it's weird. <laughs> really? You have to not care about what anybody thinks. If you're one of those people who claims you have resting bitch face or you just look very intimidating without having a hairstyle like this, sometimes this will make people think you're more intimidating when it's literally just hair. I removed some hair from my head, so now I must be tough. I don't understand that. It's just hair. Think about why you're doing it and if you want to deal with the regrowth. If you're just doing it just because, hey, they're doing it, why not? Woo! It's... Um, that may cause some regret. Be prepared to be bald. You just have to say fuck and not care about your hair that much. Because right now, if you're doing it to yourself or somebody's doing it for you, we are all human, we can all make mistakes, and the first time I cut my hair, I accidentally went to the skin when I meant to do more like this. It's because I took the guard off to fix something, forgot to put it back on, and went for it. I don't know what happened. It must have been the excitement of just getting a side shave. Another thing that goes with that is if you have a a part or a cowlick somewhere near the front of your head, you have to consider how close it is to where you're going. Um, mine is here. So, so this happens. Uh, there's, there's probably a couple of them in there, but a little bit of oil and my hair does this. So you just have to know what your hairline does. You can't just, there's considerations to be made. That's what I'm saying. The other thing is, as you can see here, when my hair gets this long, it starts trying to go in all the directions. So it starts looking a little ragged, which means my upkeep is a little bit sooner. Uh, I'm better off going this length or this length. Unless your hair is thicker and it doesn't do this, it doesn't go in this direction. Just be aware of you know, what the lengths of your hair might look like. If you just want to get rid of some hair, you want to make your life easier and you're willing to buzz, maybe you just want to shave the back just so you don't have to deal with the stragglers when you're putting a ponytail up. That might be the easiest thing to grow in, especially except when you are doing a ponytail and you have those stragglers growing back in the side shave. All your hair is pretty much on one side of your head. You have nothing going on here, so you could just tie it to the side or just sweep it over your shoulder if you have hair like that. And then you get a touch of it and you're like, oh, I like this. You wanna try doing the other side too. So another thing to consider is being able to buzz it yourself in the first place. I know that my eyes are kind of crappy. I, not because I'm getting older, just because I've got kind of crappy eyes. So when I'm doing this in the mirror, I have to get pretty close, otherwise I can't see. You have to know if that's going to be a good position for you to do every few weeks when you're cleaning it up. Also, just getting a straight line in the back at all. If you have the mirror straight up like this, you can't really sometimes see the neckline. And if you try to go to the sides, you're seeing it from the sides, you can't tell what angle you're really looking at. So it's difficult. Good to use your hand. Um, whenever I'm buzzing, just to get as close to this hairline as possible without accidentally nicking into it. The problem is, another reason I'm doing this, this is kind of a buffer right now. You go up to the line with a guard on, it tends to still leave the smallest little line of hair. You have to go a little past it just so the, the hair can get into the guard to get cut, if that makes sense. So what happens is you have to go almost a little past sometimes, which can be scary if you don't want to mess up your hairline. 
my suggestion is don't care about going bald. <laughs> Things can happen. You could always have some weird sneeze. You can always have a spasm that causes you pain. I have really bad back, so that could happen. Uh, what if I did that real quick? Oops, hairline is suddenly like that. You know, you just, if you ever see me with hair this short everywhere or even here, you know why. But otherwise, I, you know, use your hand, use something that'll stop your shaver from going up there. Be prepared to have your face more exposed, your neck more exposed, your ears more exposed. Besides just being more exposed to life in general, it's also going to be more exposed to the cold. If you're in an area that's a little bit on the cold side or gets very cold in the winters and things, you might want to also consider in investing in some hats. I recommend beanies because they sit on your head the best, especially considering you have no hair here to cushion and a hat like this is just not going to cover everything. Beanies work or just don't cut your hair like that. You really should retain that heat. Another thing is you're going to get Velcro head whenever you buzz it down to here sometimes if your hair is like mine. What I mean by that is sometimes when you, uh, your hair is down and you have this going all the way up, you try to put your hair in a ponytail and you're like, okay, put a ponytail. You're going to have these hairs which just stick to this hair and just like, and you're just going to be like digging at your scalp like, oh. A brush works too. Then I have to brush down because of these hairs doing all this kind of thing. Think about it. This isn't quarantine hair. I've had this for, I want to say a couple of years, maybe. I didn't always have this style. I can't do a fade very well. So here's my step fade. Do you like it? Anything I want to grow back in is going to be incredibly awkward for a while, uh, especially considering the length of my hair. Can't really cover it that well. This starts happening. This little, my hair is not thick enough. There's not enough hair to, to really cover it. So that looks a little funny too. So anyway, those were my tips. Stat hawk, if you're gonna try it. Again, this is not quarantine hair. I like this style. So if you're just like, ooh, you should grow it back after quarantine. I'm like, but I like it like that. <laughs> the people who hate this on my head, by the way, if you think this looks terrible on me, well, it's not your head. <laughs> do what you like with your head. I'll do what I like with mine. Have a great day. I hope we can all get through this with our sanity intact. I hope this occupied you in any way, shape, or form, even if it was to be like, this chick is annoying as... Bye.